Hello, I'm Gary Husband, and I sincerely hope that this finds you and your loved ones and families very well and bearing up under the present intense situation, and that you're keeping body and soul together, spiritual body and soul too, because it's actually quite an eerily spiritual time in a way. A time of reevaluation, assessing, and prioritizing things that are really important in our life, not just where we have to be tomorrow to meet a deadline and this and that and this, because that's all gone for the moment, and we don't know when we're going to resume that. But I'm sending you all my best wishes, and also I'm here to speak to you about a little track that will be released from a forthcoming album called Music of Our Times. It's a duet album very unlikely setting and certainly not one that was planned for not even days, it's a series of hours in fact, between myself and the guitarist and programmer Marcus Reuter, very talented, creative, genius fellow. And together we got common ground together. I say common ground because it wasn't an intellectual thing. It wasn't about getting heads together. It certainly didn't involve thinking. It was a series of improvisations that really housed and conveyed our reaction to what was going out on the outbreak of this whole situation in Japan only a few weeks ago. And it seems like a lifetime already. And, uh, and all I can say is the, there was a combination of an eerie silence, muted kind of feeling within society, people on the street and, and, and round and about, wherever you go, bars, restaurants, whatever. This is because this is before they all closed, before their lockdown. So this was the outbreak of it. The band we were touring with then, the Stickman, I was there to play some special guest appearances with those great fellows. In actual fact, we only managed the first gig before learning that the rest of the dates just had disintegrated and were canceled, postponed. Maybe that's a much more positive way of looking at it and much more realistic, hopefully. So Marcus and I went into a studio and came up with a series of improvisations that really involved uh, a mutual discovery process. And one that was completely out of the blue. It just, it just came to us. It was just, we were playing the day and we were playing our reaction to the day. And there's a, there's a kind of solemn vibe to it, very introspective. Um, and to me, a very, very different way, representing another kind of accomplishment because it's very understated kind of interplay going on, which I had not really involved myself with, with another musician before. So this represents a, a, a real different kind of achievement, accomplishment, whatever. And uh, one that took place between the two of us and just out of thin air. And it all got recorded, and I'm very happy to say that it's coming out soon, this album, Music of Our Time. And there's a particular track on there called White Horses. And you might see from the titles in brackets following it, it says, for Alan. Well, I, I know we're all suffering, the whole world is suffering the most monumental loss, brutal loss of life due to this thing. And it's just scary to consider where it came from, where it's going, where it is now. And we're all dealing with that emotionally. And given the task of coming up with most of the track names, I think Marcus was the one who came up with Music of Our Times, which was brilliant, as far as I can see, very profound and um, appropriate. Um, the rest of the song titles, I just came up with imagery of what they were evoking in me just listening through to them because I had no memory of, really of doing it. We just went into a zone and there the music is. And I was thinking back to three years ago, right now, and the 
third anniversary now of the passing of my dear brother, Alan Holdsworth. That's another story. This, this is the loss I'm still trying to get my head around and deal with. Um, and in time, um, we'll become strong to this, but these, these kind of things, but I'm not sure we ever really get over them. I think we just deal with them better. Uh, but anyway, to bring about another time and place event, uh, a few months after Alan died, we'd gone on holiday to um, a remote part of um, Sardinia for a sort of birthday holiday for me. And I hadn't really reacted to Alan's passing at all. And somehow we'd checked into our hotel room and this beautiful little hotel room with a very charming little balcony overlooked the sea and from which you could just view everything, the coming in of the tide, the tide going out, whatever. And towards the later part of the afternoon, I just became spellbound by these things. And if you know that when waves break, there's a kind of white, I don't know whether that's brine on the top. It comes along when the waves break and it's all white. And, and they nickname this white horses. It's a very evocative nickname for them. And uh, it, it brings up it brings up visions of of, of things, D dreamy kind of pictures in my mind when I think of that nickname. But anyway, this was uh, me on that balcony, and I was just watching the sea, and I just broke. I just went. I went into total grief down for a series of what felt like many hours. In fact, it was probably about an hour and a half, and uh, and it all just broke. We all know what that feeling is like when something just gives away, gives way rather to, to the most naked and powerful feelings that you, that you haven't really addressed in yourself up to this moment. And that's when it happened to me. So I made up my mind that if I was going to do any kind of musical tribute, besides the one I did reinventing music by Alan for piano and rearranging it and this, this I see as a big tribute, but a tribute to him since his passing, uh, I knew that I was gonna call a piece White Horses. And the band I was assigning it to, a band of my own that I was trying to form, never, or at least hasn't materialized yet. And, um, and I was saving it for that. However, faced with the challenge of coming up with song titles for music of our time, um, I heard exactly what one track said to me, resounding me clearly. And, uh, and that was it. It was everything that the piece White Horses was going to be. So I put forward and explained the, the, the origin of why I thought of this title, how it came about. And, uh, and the guys were okay about it, thankfully. And I'm very happy that you'll be able to hear it. It really, really, really has a lot of my feeling, not just about the, the, the situation right now with us, but the, the way I'm feeling three years on, struggling with the loss of, of uh, a very dear and cherished brother. I hope you enjoy it. Keep safe.